Living in temperate regions is no easy feat. You've got to learn to adapt to the changing times in the most remarkable ways. Well, these guys have perfected the act of living through the meanest and coldest conditions by pulling off a trick the Night's King would be proud of. Let's get to it. We kick off today's video with a species of turtle with the coolest childhood, and by cool, I mean one of the coldest any vertebrate can survive. When painted turtles lay their eggs in autumn, they're buried in the ground and hatch before winter. However, since the forest would be highly unfavorable for their kind, the hatchlings remain in hibernation. But what does that mean? Get this, they're alive but remain in a state of suspended animation, which means every organ in their body is shut down and even their hearts stop working, leaving only a small part of the brain active. These guys freeze to a near-death state and come back to life once their body temperature rises just above freezing level. Then their hearts begin to beat again, and it's as though they never stopped beating. By spring, they're first to explore the goodies the forest has to offer, basically leveling up on all other competitors around them. But it comes at a very steep price. How do they manage to do this, you wonder? You see, painted turtles have a unique ability to absorb oxygen, which is all they need to survive at that time, through their skin, mouth, and cloaca. Even more incredibly, they can hibernate for months in environments with low or no oxygen. They know they're the only vertebrates who could pull this off, so sometimes they give themselves high fives for a hibernation well survived. They're called the world's most northerly turtle for good reason. While it's only hatchlings of the painted turtle that possess this phenomenal trait, the young and old wood frogs do it all the time. Wood frogs are another one of nature's true wonders. In fact, scientists have dubbed their mode of surviving winter a miracle. They evolved ways to freeze solid for as long as eight months each year. This is possible because they can produce an antifreeze, which protects their vital organs while their entire external parts are completely frozen. I know, I know, weird, right? But hear me out. As winter approaches, the wood frog prepares itself for the long hibernation period with nothing but a litter of dead leaves. Next, it produces a huge amount of urine, which it stores in its body. Once the ice starts to hit and ice crystals begin forming on its body, its liver secretes sugar and raises its sugar level to 100 times its normal level. This sugar mixes with the urine to produce what can only be described as an antifreeze serum. The antifreeze protects the blood cells from losing too much water content to the ice, essentially preventing dehydration and fracturing of the cell walls. During this hibernation process, the wood frog's eyes, limbs, and two-thirds of its body are completely frozen, and they look like what you get if you made a frog-shaped popsicle. But as soon as the winter's over and temperatures begin to rise, their body thaws, the brain lights up, the heart beats again, and ultimately they come back to life, Captain America style. Okay, so far the animals we've talked about have the ability to freeze and unfreeze when need be, but there's a guy that can withstand beyond that. Say hello to the tardigrade, aka water bear, aka moss piglets, names based on where they live or what people prefer. The one creature that could go decades without water, survive the coldest environments, and even skinny dip in a volcano. Trust me, I'm not making this up. A scientist once took these critters, strapped them up in a satellite, and shot them into space. They floated 167 miles above sea level for 10 days in special containers before crashing back to Earth. Upon arrival, the scientists discovered that the tardigrades were unscathed. They'd survived radiation blasts 700 times stronger than that from the sun and proven that they could live in space. Tardigrades are nearly indestructible thanks to their ability to curl up into a dry ball whenever they're in an unfavorable environment. Doing this slows their body systems down so much that they're on the brink of death and can remain in this state for decades until they find water again. Even vampires are afraid of the sun, but not these guys. So far, every critter I've talked about has no problems freezing itself to near death. It's time for the insect representative. Mountain stone weta is a large, flightless orthopteran found only in New Zealand where they do what the likes of wood frogs and little painted turtles do, but on a more regular basis. Stone wettas can have as much as 80% of their body completely frozen out weekly or even daily. 
Whenever the Antarctic storm comes around these regions, the temperature drops and ice takes over the land. So to survive, the mountain stone wetum must be ready to freeze and thaw at will. Thanks to special proteins released by its cells, ice crystals can only form just outside the cells, and what's left of the cells is left untouched by the ice. The stone wetum lives to see another day using this truly remarkable mechanism. After expending a lot of energy to frosting, they waste no time gobbling up mountain snowberries. After all, they don't know when the next Antarctic storm will hit. Away from smaller animals living in extreme weather temperatures to larger animals you wouldn't expect to be in this video. What if I told you alligators can also live in temperatures below 40 degrees Fahrenheit? These cold-blooded animals have also adapted to survive freezing cold conditions. But since they can't hibernate like others in this video, they undergo a process known as brumation. During brumation, alligators, especially those living in the cold region, slow their metabolism down to a point where they don't need to eat, drink, or even move. But they're conscious and aware of their surroundings. Oftentimes, they leave their snouts lying above frozen lakes and bayous while the rest of their body remains frozen underwater. This act of snorkeling by alligators helps them breathe. In other cases, they brumate underwater and come up once a day to breathe. You know, this all seems crazy, but when you've been around for millions of years, you learn to adapt incredible survival mechanisms just to see another day. And that's exactly the motto of our next creature. Ideally, when caterpillars get enough food, they pupate and transform into a moth. But for the Arctic woolly bear, summer is too short for them to reach the weight needed to make this happen. No matter how much they eat, they can't seem to attain the right weight, so they're stuck in their caterpillar state year in and year out, resulting in one of the longest life cycles for any moth or butterfly. But that's not what makes them stand out. The Arctic is no place for just any caterpillar. You've got to be able to find a way to survive the grueling, never-ending winters, and that's exactly what they've done. These caterpillars curl up under a rock and basically shut down their entire body system when temperatures reach minus 70 degrees Celsius. Frozen and stuck in this intermediate stage of life, Arctic woolly bears survive till the following summer by producing their own antifreeze serum. If you ask me, spending nearly 90% of your life frozen does not sound appealing. So who knows why these guys continue this absurd lifestyle? Temperatures might drop and environments might be unfavorable, but these animals have shown us that cold has nothing on them. We'll catch you later.